it feels weird to be in a group called activists just because I've never really considered myself much of an activist and I've been really, really lazy politically for basically my <laughs> entire life, um, which is embarrassing to admit now, especially now that I'm a lot more engaged and it took, um, it took a government attacking my livelihood directly and the livelihood of a whole bunch of people that I care about to make me start really paying attention and trying to figure out how this works and even to realize that the government is actually incredibly powerful and can fuck up a whole industry just on a whim and not even with any study, which is unbelievable to me um, and really shouldn't be allowed. Um, so my, I guess when I first found out about it, I was out of the country and started hearing little things on Facebook and the patchy internet connection that I could get um, that something bad was going to happen. And then I came home and the budget was released the next day. Um, and I work for the Trailer Park Boys, so I was in the writing room with them when it all kind of came down and they were getting um, texts from people who were in the room and they were all freaking out. And to see these three guys who are arguably probably the most successful actors in the province really shaken, like really, really nervous and wondering, is our show over? Are we going to have to go do it in PEI? Are we going to have to move somewhere else? Um, that was huge because I thought at least like they'd be okay, at least the huge people would be okay, let alone like all of the rest of us who are just kind of trying to scrape by. Um, so that was hard to see and then um, hearing about it from everyone over the next days and just seeing all my friends so upset. Um, so then that Saturday, I guess after the budget was released, um, there was a meeting at the old NFB location um, and I remember Jay was leading it and he said, okay, we want, we're going to make videos and we want you all to make a video and everyone go make something um, and we want to make these people cry. Um, and I remember him saying that and I was like, oh my God, how, like, one, how are we going to make anything in the next three days? That's crazy. Um, and also, like, how do you make people cry? Like, I'm not, I don't cry generally in my life very much. Um, so I have no idea how that works. Um, but I was, I just remember being really angry, upset, and I, I was also um, really sick at the time. I had a horrible cold, and I think a lot of people, we'd been so stressed out for so long, wondering what was going to happen, that finally, after the bad news hit, I think a lot of people got sick, at least certainly among my friends. Um, so the next morning I woke up, because I couldn't sleep, because my head was disgusting, um, and had this idea, and I could picture the whole film finished, which has never happened. Um, so that was at least lucky, so then I had, oh yeah, the film's called Take Your Bow. Some of you have maybe seen it, some of you probably definitely Ooh. haven't. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Sunday morning, 4 a.m., I have this idea and start like scratching notes down and then decide I should go get in touch with David Miles because it's his song. Um, like He wrote this song years ago called Take Your Bow and it's one of the most beautiful and devastating songs I've ever heard and I talked to him years ago about doing a music video for it and I could just never come up with the right idea. Like any idea I came up with just seemed kind of crappy compared to the song and wasn't going to wasn't going to work but then it, when I had this idea it was like oh yeah that's that that goes with the song um and then um really what happened like it was Sunday the idea Monday we shot it um Paul McCurdy who's an incredible cinematographer like he I got in touch with him on Sunday and he came out the next Monday with all his gear and just did such a beautiful mm -hmm. job um and Neptune Theater like they gave us the theater um they just let us come in and they staffed it and they had a lighting person and it was so amazing to see the level of support um, just from other, like from the theater industry just because it's arts and we're all affected. Um, and Kim McTaggart, who's this amazing, like huge award-winning editor, she gave me the next day, Tuesday, to edit it. Um, so we put it together really in two days, which was nuts. Um, and it, it's funny, it's a really, it's a, anyone who's seen it knows it's, pr it's pretty sad because um, it's just a bunch of, faces from the film industry kind of walking across the stage and taking a bow and leaving. Um, but the experience of making it gave me so much hope. Um, just because it, people came together in such a crazy way and were so generous and so willing to help. And over 200 people showed up the night we were filming it at the Neptune Theater. And most of them I didn't know. Like I'd put a little event page on Facebook and I don't know about you guys, but like normally if I create some sort of event, it's like, yeah, maybe like, I don't know, a quarter of the people that you invite will respond and like maybe five of those people will actually show up. But this thing blew up and over 200 came. I was hoping for, I was literally hoping for 25 because I'm like, this thing's going to work if I have about 25. But it was amazing just to see all the people that 
came and how, yeah, just all the people that cared. Um, and that really hit home, um, which I guess is what really gives me hope for the future. Because we're not going anywhere and we care so much. <laughs> And I think that's, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, am I, am I on? Uh, one question that I have, and we talked about this, Megan, a little bit um, before we started. Did you feel at the time like you were making a film that had a political message, or did it feel like it was an emotional, personal message, and did you anticipate that the latter was actually maybe the most powerful kind of former? Did you know that you were doing that at the time, or did, was that a surprise? Again, again, I was really sick, so I it was just like I had this idea, and I was so tired, I didn't have time to come up with another idea. <laughs> so I just kind of made it. Um, but it was coming from, I think something great about any kind of restraint, or in my case being really sick, means that you don't have time to let your inner critic sort of shit all over your idea and say, this is terrible. Um, so I just went with it, because it felt right. Um, and it was definitely coming from a really personal place. <coughs> Um, but I think I also understood at the time that if it could affect people, then that was powerful and that was political. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.